Today we visit one of the other made for arcade warehouses. This time we are in a small town called Gorlage in the south of the Netherlands. This central hub ships all the arcade machines for Western Europe. In this video, we will unpack one of our Bartop arcade machines, and we will show you how to prepare and test for final quality control. Our Bartop video arcades weigh in at 26 kilos. Together with the wooden shipping crate, we reach 42 kilograms total. Fully packed our crate comes in at 55 by 65 centimeters wide and 72 centimeters tall. Now let's go ahead and move our bar top arcade to one of our testing rooms for inspection. Our arcade machines are all equipped with safety locks, so now that we are all set up, let's first get the key. In the back of the machine we find the power cord, so let's hook it up and give it some juice. Powering up the system only takes 7 seconds as you can see in this real-time startup sequence. Now that we know everything powers up correctly, let's turn the power off again and release the panel clamps inside the machine. With the clamps released, we can easily access all the electronics inside and check for any wiring issues or loose switches and lights. Going back to the rear of the machine, we can now enter the system settings on the game computer. We simply push the settings switch while being powered on to enter the system settings menu. In the I.O. option, or input output monitoring system, we can check for the correct wiring of our buttons and joysticks. Here we can detect any miswiring by simply pressing a button and checking the corresponding animation on the screen. Any misconfigurations can easily be fixed by switching the wires to the microswitches, even when the machine is powered on. The buttons are all configured correctly. Next let's take the machine out of its free play mode, and put it into paid mode. In paid mode, we can use tokens or any coin currency that will fit in our coin comparator or coin computer. We can train the coin computer by simply placing an example token or coin into the comparator slot. The system will then automatically accept similar coins and reject any mismatched coins.
this means the power to simulate any form of combat past present or future it also means the constant threat of electronic theft and sabotage that's why the military created safe special action for virus elimination 0630 save agent stanley opar starts his shift 